Hey y'all, I don't know if anybody's even in here. Emily's still trying to get us set up here. You about to get it? Yes, yeah, Harmony like the level. I keep going since we're gonna have most of this stuff on the table. Hey, yeah, okay. you go ahead and sit that'll down. Be, that'll be good. Okay. We can just hold the stuff up. Good? No, it's crooked. It's crooked. A mm, little back, more back. All right, there you go. Right, let's see if I can get a chat popped out here. I got my phone. We can look at the chat. Uh, if you want to drive. There we go. There we go. Hey, Joy and Brianna. So I'm going to have to kind of sit over here, Emily, so I can see it. Okay. All right, so we are on here. I'll just look at this one. You can look at that. So we are on here. We are wanting to um, sell the soap and lotion pretty soon. We've had several emails and questions about it. So we thought this would probably just be the best way. This is more just like a warning video because I told everyone I would give them a heads up when we were gonna sell this stuff. Um, because the last couple times I have sold soap and lotion, it has went really quickly and people that wanted some didn't get it. So uh, we're gonna kinda show you guys what we have and then we are actually, this sale will go live, I guess you would say. We're thinking Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Time. So we try to pick a morning time, but more of a um, reasonable time for all the different time zones in the U.S. So uh, that'll be like 7, 8, 9, and 10, basically. So that's what we're going to do. Thank y'all for joining us. I can't believe there's 52 people in here. Um, we're just kind of kind of show you a sampling of what we'll have and then Thursday we'll make a video like I said that'll go up at 9 a.m. Central Time and it will be more detailed of everything that we have for sale so let's just kind of show what all we've got and um, I'm just shocked that all y'all are in here that's awesome hey Kathy and Susie um, so let's get to it first I'm gonna kind of turn y'all and just show you what is over here that is full of soap all different kinds of soap there is let's see let me walk over here there's like 16 in each row and there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen almost 15 batches of 16 bars so there is a ton of soap let me move you back over here so obviously soap of all scents, all just everything. And I went a little crazy this time with um, scents and add-ins. They turned out really cool. Like this one has rose petals on the top. I thought this turned out really cool. And it smells really good too. Show them the purple one, that one's cool. Yeah. This one I put herbs in and it turned this blend of, it's like green down here and then purpley up here. It really, really turned out cool. Hey Scott, we do have some manly things. If, if men like to eat like jellies and yeah. jams and things. Um, so anyway, I'll go into more detail about that Thursday and I'll tell you all the different scents and things. I tried to use all essential oils basically and a lot of the oils themselves are organic. So I tried to make it as organic as possible um, because that's why we started all this was for skin problems and things like that. And talking about skin problems, thank you for all the messages wondering about my stomach. I'm doing pretty good. I'm still having the pain and everything but uh, not all the time. And I actually finally get to go tomorrow to my appointment. My appointment got canceled the first time because Ben tested positive. So finally tomorrow, I'm hoping, y'all pray for me. I'm hoping for some answers um, that, I don't know, a scope or something. I want to know what is going on. It's been almost a year, so it is time. Okay. Also, Emily has made... Um, a ton of jewelry because we were going to start the store as y'all know and we kind of decided to just with all the craziness going on just stay online here at the beginning get going and then we'll see about a store so you want to kind of show them 
um, what all you got. I got five different colors of bandos. I got gray and then turquoise and um, tan, green, and like a maroonish pink color. And I have quite a few of all of those. Y'all seen Emily wearing those quite a bit on videos, and I've worn worn them quite a bit. Um, so, and we have, this is just a sampling. We have a, a bunch of these. We have a whole bag. So, um, there is plenty of these to go around. These are super good at keeping your hair out of your face. Um, I can even see a guy wearing something like, especially a beekeeper. Um, once you get that veil on, it's really hard to keep your hair out of your face. And um, especially if you're a guy with longer hair. So there's those. What you doing? Um, I was looking. I forgot them, so I didn't bring them in here. But I have a ton of different like bracelets, beaded bracelets, and then um, a lot of diffuser bracelets. You want to go get a few of them, and I'll I'll show them some of this stuff while you get I'll try them. To find them. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. She has also got several of these. I love these. Um, these are diffuser necklaces. These this is gonna be a little tricky. Um, you're probably just gonna have to say you want a diffuser necklace. Some of the chains look different, um, but I don't know any way to do this without just. Um, saying diffuser necklace and y'all just let us pick i guess uh what you're getting because here's the thing i looked into etsy and etsy was kind of expensive and so especially for us wanting to start an online store we're gonna have a website pretty soon like in the next few months but we need to sell this soap and lotion now y'all are wanting it for christmas gifts and i want y'all to get it as fresh as possible so um this is going to be the most complicated sale. Hopefully after this, it will get easier because we'll have a website that will kind of show detailed every item. You can pick exactly what you want and it'll kind of count down on there how many is gone. We don't have that yet though. So um, the categories are going to be kind of broad. You'll just have to say diffuser necklace. And then she's got, these are so cute. Again, this will be a bit of a broad category. Emily, show them some of these. I thought we'd just kind of call this Southwest Earrings, and then we will just, I guess, pick you one. Um, these are super cute. Those you are my show favorite. Them? Those are your favorite? Yeah. Right there. These mm. little cow heads. Emily made all of these by hand. And then some aztec -y looking leaves. I thought those were cute. And then... Um, these are going to be on like long necklaces. I have quite a few of these cow heads made and they'll just be like those long necklaces that come yeah. down. Yeah. So we'll have those. And then there's some cactus ones too. You can show them those if you want to. So those will be on long necklaces. We've got a lot of these. I call them teardrop earrings. She'll have a bunch of those. There's bunch a bunch of different bunch colors. Of um, she has got... These are super cute if they'll stay turned the right way. Cow tag earrings. These are kind of, I don't know if they can even see the color, but we've got a variety of those. Is the jewelry nickel free and hypoallergenic? I'm going to just be safe and say probably not. Probably not. Um, I got the earring hooks from Michaels. Yeah. We just got them at a craft store. So, I mean, it's possible that they all, okay. Sorry, y'all. We're getting it fixed. Okay, can y'all see me? Is it better? Someone said it's still buffering. Is it still buffering? Somebody, several are saying buffering, several are saying fixed. So, okay, we're back. Did you call him and tell him? Yeah, he didn't answer, but I left him a voice. Okay, go try again so he doesn't try me again. Okay. Ben called me. He's on his way home, and it just froze everything. So, um, someone is saying how much. So, that the point of this video is to give you a, a little preview. Now, my mom is calling. Um, okay. The point of this is to give you all a little preview, and then Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Time, we're gonna have a video that shows all of this and shows um, the prices and everything. So 
Um, tune in Thursday at 9 a.m. Okay, now call Mama and tell her because she's calling too. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you the rest of what we got. I'm gonna move you for a second. Okay, so I have, this is all lotion. There is a bunch. I made more than I've ever, ever, ever made before. I hope I made enough for everybody to get some this time that wants some. I'm gonna put y'all back down. I'm coming back, I promise. I gotta plug it back up. Emily, we're so not technical. We're having a lot of technical issues. Okay, I think we're plugged back up. Okay, what are we on now? Okay, I think we've showed most of it. I'm not sure if Emily showed. No, I actually didn't these. These are beaded bracelets that um, say all kinds of different things. What these all do they say? These say words. This one says grace, and then I have one that says faith. Oh, I like that one. one Show that, that one. One says grit. Show Which that one? one. Which one? This one? This one says grit. I think that's really cute. And the letters are, um, like, cuter looking. I think those are cute. And I have one that says pray, peace. All right, show them. There's a bunch of different ones, but, um, and then... Okay, come back over here in front of the camera because I can't see you. Okay. Um. I hope y'all can still see us because I have no idea. <laughs> okay, we also have, um, she made a lot of these, those, there's those ones that say words. Okay, someone tell me if y'all can see us or not. I hope so. What? I'm just trying to see if they can see us. Yes. Yes, they, they said yes. Okay. But she also made these. These are diffuser bracelets. They have, these are uh, lava beads. And these hold uh, essential oils really well. I've used those quite a bit. There's all different color schemes and all that. Wow, TC Games, thank you. Thank you so much. Ask a question, pick some winner's gifts on me. Okay, I will do that. I'll actually do that um, in Thursday's video. I will, I will do that and um, that can cover some gifts and some shipping. I wanted to talk about shipping too before we jump off here. So, oh, okay, one more thing I'm getting ahead of myself is um, the, I'm, I'm going to try to sell, I made a ton of muscadine and grape um, and different uh, jellies and things like that. I made some apple butter. So, I was going to uh, try to sell those too. That will take quite a bit of bubble wrap, um, which I'm willing to try to do and and ship it to y'all but what i've been using let me see if i've got one over here and someone asked if they're stretchy bracelets yeah they're um like that elastic clear cord so they'll stretch okay i don't have any padded envelopes in here right now but um what I normally ship soap and lotion in is the padded envelope that's like a eight and a half by 11, that size sheet of paper. Um, I think that's the size. It's probably a little bigger than yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, they call them a padded envelope and that's a flat rate. It's like 840 or something like that. And so I just do 850 um, flat rate shipping and it's whatever I can fit in that envelope for you. If you order 20 bars of soap and I can fit them in there, it's 850. Um, but to ship the jams and jellies, I think we're going to have to, this is a box Hoss sent us, but I think we're going to have to go with something like this um, because the box smaller than this is like 840, but it's so tiny. It's only like that tall or something, and I just don't think anything would fit in it. Um so this right here is like $15. So just keep that in mind. If you if you want uh, jams and jellies, no jams, I don't know why I keep saying that. If you want jelly or apple butter, it's gonna have to go in a box like this. 
Um, my thoughts on it, because I'm a bulk shopper, is if I'm gonna pay $15, because this box can hold up to like 70 pounds and still be just $15. If I'm gonna pay for that, I'm gonna make it worth my $15. And I'm gonna put like several bars of soap and lotion and jelly, whatever you want to in here to make that worth it. I don't think personally it would be worth it to order one thing of jelly and pay $15 to ship it. But if you, you know, were buying several things, I could see it. So y'all do whatever you want. That's just my take on it. Um, same thing with the padded envelope. The more bars of soap people, I've had people like pack them full. And to me, that's a bargain more than just one bar of soap in a padded envelope. But do whatever you would like. <laughs> um, so, hey, Allison and Margie. We are just talking about, I told everyone I would give a heads up on the soap and lotion thing. And Emily's got a lot of stuff prepared too. So it's going to be Thursday this week at 9 a.m. And um, so that that is when it's going to go live. It'll be first come, first serve. We have an email account just for that. And so it will be just first come, first serve until things are gone. Um we can't do it Wednesday because this girl is turning 16 on Wednesday. So we're going to do it Thursday. It is good to see all y'all in here. And if you are just getting on, we did show everything at the beginning. So Yes, yes. And people can go back and watch this. I thought this would just be a good way to just show it all. There's people here from everywhere. That is so cool. And if you just got on here, TC Game 65 gave $100 for us to give some stuff away. So Thursday on that video, I'll probably also um, have some way on there to give something away. So I'll check into that because YouTube's rules, I want to make sure I understand them about legally giving something away. So they're saying happy sweet 16. Thank Happy you. Happy early birthday. When's the driver's permit coming? Well, she's passed the written part, and we're actually taking the driving part on her birthday. So, let's hope. She was practicing today. I know a lot of y'all have probably trained kids to drive, but it is so stressful. I feel like I need, like, nerve pills and essential oils and... <laughs> All kind. I need to be like knocked out. It's so stressful to me. Dad's way easier to drive with. Yes. Has ship anywhere in the USA for a few bucks. I don't know. I went to the post office several times and talked to them about the best way. And they said the flat rate was the best way to go for y'all. Um, and it's been pretty good for me too because then I know... I can get that there and just bring it home and get it all packaged here. Hey, Willow Dean, I'm glad you caught it live. So, yes, Emily will be 16 on Wednesday, and then I won't have any more 15-year-olds. Never again. Never again. Will you be posting items on Facebook? Probably just here on the YouTube video, and then I will give the email on the video and it's just first come first serve um, by order of emails is how I've been doing it. If you want to catch the video really quick, um, if you're subscribed, just hit the bell and it will tell you right yes. when the video comes out. Yes, that's a good idea. So hit the bell and then, um, but we're gonna try to do it right at um, 9 a.m. Central Time Thursday. Repeat the jelly choices, please. I know we have muscadine, Grape. grape, apple butter, and apple butter. Do you know anything? I think that was it, wasn't it? I think so. There's a lot of muscadine. It's mainly muscadine. Um, that's something I've had a lot of people say, what in the world are you even saying? I don't know what that it's is. It's so good. It's muscadine. So, but, but we, we say muscadine. We say muscadine, but um, it's a lot like grape. A lot of people call it a wild grape, but it's really good. Oh, thank you, Allison. 
I have got it. It's already in bottles, ready to go, labeled, everything. Yeah, they like driving with Ben better. Because he just kind of sits there and doesn't pay a whole lot of attention. He's just like, turn here. And I'm more like micromanaging when they're driving because I'm afraid I'm going to like die or something. But, wow. Wow. TC Games taught people how to drive 18 wheelers. That that would take a lot of That's patience. Scary. Yeah. No, thank you. So if you didn't catch the beginning, we um, we showed everything. A little sample. Now Thursday I'll go into greater detail of the the kind of scents on the soap and the lotion and um, just all that kind of stuff. Um, like I was telling them a while ago, we'll probably have some broader categories like you can pick your color on these bandos but like as far as the jewelry and stuff we'll probably just have like southwest jewelry as a category and then we'll put you one in because there's a lot of them are not alike like there might yeah. just be one of them because emily actually hand made them so um and then there's like i said a lot of like cow tag earrings and teardrop earrings things like that so, what's the length on the diffuser necklaces? It's a pretty good size chain. That's another thing that's going to be kind of a broader category. Because yeah. there is chains, but I also have some that are like... Um, Leather. Yeah, and twine yeah. and stuff like that. This one, I'll, I'll put this on. We can measure it too. Yeah. But they're not all this, this no. chain. They're all like a longer chain. Yeah. They're not a choker. They're all around that size too. Yeah. So... Anyway, that is what we are up to here. It is kind of yucky weather outside. It's cold and rainy. We're about to go film a video as soon as Ben gets here. Um, we're going to move the cows. They've been in our big, like, 120-acre field. Um, that's where we've always rotated them. And then there's a whole other 80 acres that we cut hay on at the back. But they have to go through the woods to get to it. And they've never done it before. We've never attempted it before. And they're not good with change. <laughs> they're not good with change. But um, we're going to, we've got pen. Lane has been working hard. He's got like fences. It's all hot wire fences set up at the back. And we're, we've put up, um, I got distracted. Rebecca turned 16 on Wednesday too. Terry's granddaughter. That's cool. That is cool. But we've put up hot wire through the woods, too, and we're going to try to funnel them. It is, it's going to be a trip. If it works without a hitch, it will just We're going to be, be praising the Lord. It'll be awesome. So, and we're dodging rain and kind of storming, so we're going to attempt that this afternoon. So, what are you guys up to this afternoon? Jen said, happy birthday, Emily. Thank you. A lot of people said happy birthday. I feel like 16 is like a monumental birthday. Cleaning, freezing. Yeah, I'm freezing too. Just got home from work. My stomach problems ended with gallbladder surgery in the middle of the night when then there were many complications which kept me in the hospital a week. Oh, no. Mine is so weird. It is so weird. And it comes and goes. Um, oh, in bed passing a kidney stone. That's terrible. Ooh. Keep up the good work making videos. Thank you, Joe. We have tried to step up our video game. The kids have definitely stepped up their editing. Um, now it worked. Please don't tell. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Um... My stomach problems are, like, just so strange. Certain foods, I'm just, like, oh, it's bad. It's, I don't know. I'm hoping I get some answers. Did you have acid reflux problems? I'm going to guess that's to the person who had the gallbladder in the middle of the night. If that's to me, I, I really don't have acid reflux. Like, where the acid comes up. I don't have that part. I have like this hollow feeling stomach pain. That's what I have. It's weird and it's terrible. 
my appointment is tomorrow afternoon at like three o'clock so i would appreciate all the prayers um Coffee is just out for me. I'm such a coffee lover. It just hurts me to even say that. But I haven't had coffee really in several months now. I just completely gave it up until I d convinced myself I'm healed. And then oh, I'll make doesn't. I'll make like a super weak cup and decide I'm healed. And then I realize I'm not healed. So. Uh, Elena said she just watched Miracle Story. I love that cow. She knows it too, though. She's so sassy, isn't she? She's rude. <laughs> She's not rude. She's rude. She's so sweet. She is like my cow. She does not like any of the rest of us. No. Which that makes me like her more, that she's like really loyal to me. Um, can I have two Chino? Yes. That is the only thing that is like keeping me going because I can drink that. At first, I was like, oh, this is not coffee. But the more I've drank it, it, it's, you even said it smelled like coffee the other day. Yeah, it did. You said, it smells like you're drinking an expensive cappuccino or something. It's, it's good. Oh, is that what you were drinking in the car that day? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, here, Daddy. I drink chicory. It's a great coffee substitute. That's basically what tea chino is. It's, it's pretty good. How many jars of jam will fit in the box? I'm going to say several because um, I'll, I'll test that before Thursday. But I'm going to say, ooh, I don't even know. You want to come on the live? I'm going to say like eight maybe in this box. Six or I don't, eight. I don't know for sure, but I will test it. I just had some French roast Ticino. That's that is the closest one, y'all. If you have to give up coffee and you buy Ticino, the French roast is the closest one to coffee. And it says that on their website is why I bought it. I had pancreatic cancer in a Whipple operation a year ago and still have trouble. Oh, oh. man, I'm so sorry. Miracle is a cutie. She should be a cow model. <laughs> She is a beauty. She is like, and she knows it too. Like, she'll stand like. Yeah, she's like real proper too. Yeah, she's proper. <laughs> she's never dirty either. Like, a lot yeah. of the cows are nasty. Like, she's if, never dirty. There's a dirty. white cow. They're usually like really dirty. She's always like. She's pristinely clean. Yeah. Like, I don't know if she ever even lays down. I've never seen a cow that It's probably clean. like beneath her. Yeah. She's like, I'm not laying up. She probably laid down so long. She's like, I'll never lay down again. Yeah. But. She's hilarious. Hey, Prairie Girl. She said we look like sisters. Thank you. That is such a compliment. When should I wean my six-month-old steer? Anytime, probably. Six months is probably... Especially if you've got the cow bread back. That A lot of that depends on that. Like, if you need to give your cow a break before you... She's going to have another one. <coughs> I just like that on the wrong hole. Miracle has imprinted on you. I think so. I don't know what she thinks we are. I don't know if she thinks I'm her mom or her sister or her I, grandma. I don't know what she thinks, but it is hilarious. Like, she's not a, a fan of them as much. She's bred back but only three months. You've got a while then. I mean, you can always let the calf get bigger, but at some point I would I would definitely give the cow a break because all that milk production drags the cow down. We just bought a jersey named Freedom We Are Milking. Ooh, I like that name. Good afternoon from southeastern Colorado. Still snowing. Got about two inches. That sounds really amazing sounds like good weather to just curl up with a book to me hey kelly from alabama thank you prairie girl you want to say hello so what are we doing we are giving we already gave it a preview of um what we're going to sell and then thursday at nine central time 
the full video is going to come out of what's for sale and how much. This is the warning that, hey, the video's coming. The heads up. This is the heads up. Yeah. It's and cold outside. Um, we had a very nice donation of $100 to give away some stuff. To pay for giving away some stuff. Wow. TC Game 65. Wowzers, wowzers. Yeah. I thought that was very nice. Very, very nice. Still They're there. saying hi, Ben. So he's home. From work, and it's cold. It's cold and wet. And are we still going to move cows? We are. Prairie Girl, so go back to the beginning of this, and it's kind of just a little overview. We'll go into much more detail on scents and everything Thursday. Um, uh, Piper Home said, you can rewatch this. It said, sad I missed the preview. Rewatch this and, and see. So you kind of got in your head. Kind of what all's there. What all's there. And then you can place an order through email as soon as the video comes out Thursday. So we probably won't even check the email until Thursday when the video comes out. And I'll, I'll tell y'all exactly what email to send it to and all that. And have a... Uh... You can wear those earrings. Yeah. The cow tags? Yeah, don't they look cute? Real cute. Oh. <laughs> uh, have a PayPal link set up for yes. that? Yes, yes. Like you did last time? Yep. Dina said it's 65 in Phoenix and they think that's cold. That's, that's, yeah. That's cool. It's getting cool to me too. There's 141 people in here. I can't believe that in the afternoon. Maybe a good time to go live. Maybe. <laughs> How many hobo bandos? Boho. Hobo, boho, -ho. hobo. I have a month old chick that had like white runny, you know what. My question is, is it okay to keep her? She's doing better and I have her separate until she's clean, but she's worried about it. I would keep her if it was me. Maybe a little but, apple cider vinegar in the water. Yeah. They're just, chicks are fragile. They can be very fragile. I've seen people talking about chicks lately, and that's just super normal that chicks have problems because they're very fragile little things. Ooh, Can't wait Margie. to order. It's Miss Margie. Margie. Allison's in here. Prairie Girl. Brianna. Merciful Roots. Joining from the hospital. Are I you in the hospital? I hope not. How is Dot? Sassy. Dot is sassy. <laughs> Dot is good, though. Yeah. He's he, healthy and He is growing. growing. Like, yeah, he has grown like crazy. It's 18 in southeastern Colorado. Yeah, the I've plains, some, not the mountains. Oh, wow. I've seen some uh, pictures of quite a bit of snow lately. That's what's on my cup. And uh, they put the station on today. Oh. So that means it's cold up in St. Louis. For stomach issues, try aloe vera juice. I have some, and it, it does seem to calm me down a little. When my stomach really gets to hurting, there, I've not found anything that's like 100% cure. So that's why I really want them to do a scope. I don't want pills. I want answers. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Um, will you be selling any honey? We do sell honey when we have it, but this was not a good honey year, really. For whatever reason, I don't know why, because we had tons and tons of clover. Yeah. Uh, the white clover, and they usually make a lot of honey out of that, but um, we had a pretty hard dearth uh, when they're not producing honey, and then they eat it up. So, and we always want to leave plenty, plenty for them to have as their food storage. Have you ever saved pumpkin seeds? I rinsed them and plan to dry them. What do you think? Yeah. I'd give it a try. Yeah, we've saved them. And yeah. I actually had pumpkins that almost rot on the front porch and throw them out in the field, and then you got pumpkins growing out in the field just voluntarily. Merciful Roots, I hope they get all that figured out. I think pumpkins and uh, squash and things like that are pretty easy to save the seeds on. I always like to put them in a bowl of water, throw out any of the ones that's floating. I, that's what I always do. Clear Creek Farm said, hello from Michigan. How is the maple syrup? It was delicious. It is delicious. Almost gone. Yeah, it's <laughs> almost gone. It was so, so good. If y'all have not checked out Clear Creek Farm, 
do that because um, they sent us some good maple syrup. Yeah, I don't know if they're selling it or what. Yeah, they was um, wanting, I think to they that, are. wanting to sell that in the store. Yeah, but I would say go check them out because it's delicious. Now, are y'all going to sell online or was y'all just looking to get it into stores or what? I didn't know y'all's playing there. 81 in Alabama waiting on the other hurricane. Oh, I hope it dissipates. Australia? Dr. Ken Berry. I'll check him out. Yeah, and isn't this the, uh, what was the name of this one? It started with a Z, like they're on the end of the Roman or the Alpha Beta. They're at the end of the alphabet? Well, you know, they've already been at the end of the alphabet. Now they started with the Alpha, the Beta, Omega. Gamma. Yeah, all that. Now they're at the Z on that. Mm. I don't remember what it was called. How's the farm dog training going with Pepper? Zeta, they said. <laughs> Zeta? Zeta? Yeah. That's what it is. If y'all can tell, I don't watch the news. <laughs> <laughs> I quit a long time ago. I just couldn't stand it. The training with Pepper is not going at all. Because I've been way, way busy. I play with her every day. But... We've got to get on that. We were just talking about that this weekend. I was actually um, talking about it to somebody at work today about maybe looking to send her to somebody, at yeah. least for obedience training. Yeah. Pepper is Cause she's getting older now. very, so. very, very full of energy. I don't want to say hyper because that sounds like I'm criticizing. She's just, she's going to be an awesome cattle dog because she's so, so full of energy and she's not afraid. But when she gets something that distracts her, she does not listen to any of us. No. She's kind of... ADD, and I say that because I am too. Like, if I start a project and then I see something else, I'm like, over here, then I'm over there. And it's just, Squirrel. that's her. So, it's been a challenge. Yes, they do sell it. Clear Creek Farm, y'all go check them out, because I promise you will not be disappointed. It was the best maple syrup I think we've ever had. Yep. Um, Prairie Girl said, try the delicata squash. I love that. I've got some growing right now, if it will beat the frost. Um, and our temperatures, last time I looked at them, didn't look like freezing was hitting, but it's getting cool. I don't watch real TV either. I don't either. It just, they wore me out with it, and I just couldn't do it. Do we need more grape juice for kombucha? I think we still have a little bit, don't we? Yeah, I think so. I went and looked. And we kind of slacked off on the kombucha right now just because of stomach. your stomach. Yeah, I've been told drink it for my stomach, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid it would, like, set me on fire. It hurts my stomach. And I'm trying to talk her into selling some kombucha scoobies. 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 I might, I might put that in the video Thursday because I've got probably 30. A bunch of them. Yeah. And you can, you can ship those. You'd want to mm -hmm. double bag them in Ziploc bags and... I could put like a cup of starter tea, so you'd be ready to go. When I bought mine, I bought a dehydrated one, and it took a while to get that thing going. And then I wound up buying another one that was a fresh one that came with like a cup of tea, and it was like instant. Instant, you're ready to go. But I may offer that because I know some of y'all have asked and would want one. Well, did, and didn't you sell like 25 or 30 of them at the Shindig? Last year? Yeah, I sold, then it was um, the whole set the whole kit, jar and everything. This would be like a scoby and tea, and you could just pop it in some tea. I keep doing that because it just means it would just be, you pop some. Instant. Well, we did that like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Allison still has the one she got from us. Wow. Just make sure... The tea bags you use don't contain filler, soy, etc. That should be okay for your stomach. Okay. All right. I need a new one. I put mine in the fridge and it has black moldy. Yeah. They say if it's in question, throw it away. Toss it. Um, and I've also heard don't ever put it in the fridge. You don't know that though until you experience it. But uh, uh, uh. some things you can, like milk kefir, you can, water kefir, you can put those like to sleep in the fridge. Um, you can actually freeze your milk keeper, haven't you? It's not. Yeah, we you have. have. We have. And brought it back. It takes a while. Allison's has a whole bunch of friends now. Yeah. They Other say dangerous. dehydrate them and they're good dog uh, chews. I don't know. I've not done it. 
Okay, I've been off grid for a bit. How's the website coming? We are, that is our next thing is to build the website. We've been gathering info. Um, our first meet will be available in January. We've got six hogs. That is our first, is it six? Mm -hmm. Six that will be inspected. No, no. Three. Three. That's our first thing. Three that will we, be inspected. We, got those in first. we can tell, we can sell by the pound. So you could just order a roast or whatever off there. Um, a poke chop or yeah. some sausage and the sausage that we've got the last time or the last two times sugar free. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. Y'all know there was so much sugar in sausage. But we got sugar free and it's delicious. So, um, <clears throat> So that is the first thing. So we need a website by January. And then we'll have more pork in April, more pork in May. Chickens. Chickens probably starting in April. And then beef in August. September. This next so September. We, yeah. This next year we should really get rolling and we'll have all the types of meat by the time the by the time next fall comes. We'll mm -hmm. have all different types. But everything that you got right now is it's sold out, right? Yes. Legacy said, did you sell that side of beef you put online? I did. That, yeah. yes, really quickly I did. I came over because of Dot, but now I'm hooked on your channel. You keep it true and real. Thank you so much. Very, very much. How much for a whole pig? That's your best bet is a whole pig. That's your best bargain. Uh, it depends on the size of it and everything. And also, we are switching feeds. Yeah, we are switching feeds. Up till now, we have been just feeding. Um, it's a source we trust. It's a local feed meal. And so it's not labeled anything like organic or non-GMO or anything, but it's a local farmer farming and doing all this feed. Mm -hmm. um, but we are switching. We found a Mennonite farm that is truly labeled non-GMO. And... Um, we are switching to that. So it will cost a little bit more. So our prices are probably going to change a little bit based on that. We hope not very much. So um, I'll probably have to get back to you on an exact price. But a whole hog is definitely, or a half hog, we don't charge any more for half than we do for whole. But everything um, that we've got sold right now as far as the batch going in November for custom is already spoken for, correct? Mm -hmm. The ones here mm -hmm. that's not USDA. Those are not, yeah, those are not USDA. They're not even going to the USDA. Right, process. I was meaning for a half or a whole hog. No. Yeah. They're all sold, I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, January is the first we have available. Mm -hmm. So, we want to try grass fed beef, but we heard it's a bit tougher or something. Um, I had to learn how to cook it you have to cook it different like i got a pressure cooker that's why i got one in the first place because grass-fed beef like a roast you cook it you cook it faster like a shorter amount of time at like a higher pressure and it will tenderize it um and also you seared it a couple yeah. of times before you use it. which people in here probably have some good recommendations too but that's what i had read you don't slow cook it as much like you do corn-fed beef um and then as far as like the burgers, they they taste a little different. Um, it's just a little bit of a different taste. I wouldn't say it's not it's not in any way like inferior to corn fed. In fact, a lot of people like it better, but it's just a little different. Yeah. Before I'd ever uh, order a big quantity of it, I would I would definitely get some and. And try it. And different grass-fed beef from different farms will taste a little yeah. different. Depends There's, on how it's raised. Grass-fed, I've seen videos of, of what they're calling grass-fed. And I don't mean this to be negative or rude or anything. But sometimes you just see stuff on packages. And if you're like me, I'm naive. And so I'm like, it's grass-fed. It's That's what I want. Or and or... it's, um, I saw a video last week of a cow standing in a muddy little stall that it was trapped in and it had a trough that it could get its head to that was full of grass like hay and they that was grass fed um so grass grass fed has a lot just like organic it had you better know mm -hmm. your farmer if possible because to us grass fed is they're going to stay out on grass and that's all they're going to eat 
and we're just not going to get them up in a lot and pour grain to them and stuff. So just know what you're getting. Or just like those uh, chickens that we went and got that one time from uh, from a free range um, chicken house. They still laid eggs in the chicken house, but they had a, a door on the back side of it that would come open and they could go out into a small pen outside and free range outside in that pen and then come back in. So it, it's not like 100% free range or what we really consider free range, but. And, and the guy at the chicken house told us that. He yeah. said that this little area is so that these eggs can be labeled um, free range. Free range. Mm -hmm. Because they get not in an a offer pen or a cage, but they didn't go out there. Much. No, most of them was inside the, the house. But they had the opportunity to go to this little yard thing. Right, but they wasn't stuck in a small cage, so they right. was able to be called free range. Right, and that's okay. I don't mean that to come across negative. No, um, but no, it's not getting. what I want. But um, if you're aware of it and you're like, that's that's fine. That's what I want. Then. I'm, whatever yeah. <laughs> that's what's supplying like walmart and places like that mm -hmm. we've always um, got 200 people in here wowzers grass fed is different from grass fed grass finished and then there's free range yeah they've got all these marketing names yeah, yeah. grass fed corn finished your best best bet is um know your farmer and a lot of them will let you look at the animals like especially us, we're an open book. You're seeing our animals every day. Yep. Uh, we don't we don't have, you know, a bunch of other pigs and cows that you're not seeing. You're seeing the ones that we're raising for meat. And just like the the one that we loaded up the other day, there is no way that we would butcher something like that. We had several comments. Why don't you butcher that cow? I'm not gonna eat it. I didn't feel safe eating it. We wasn't for sure what it was, so. I wouldn't feed it to you. Oh, yeah. Well, we better go move the cows. Yep. We got a break in the rain out there. Yeah. Thank y'all for joining us. If you are just getting on here, Emily and I did this live to showcase kind of what all we're going to be selling. I promise y'all a heads up before we just come on here and say, everything's for sale, soap, lotion, all this, and you miss out because I have had people miss out in the past and I didn't want that to happen again. So, um, Ben is wearing earrings. So, Thursday, 9 a.m. Central Time, um, that, that's when the video is going to go up and there will be everything that we're selling, prices, different scents. We'll tell you all about it in detail. Um, we will probably figure out how to give some stuff away, and I'll tell you that in that video because we've had a very nice donation um, to be able to send y'all some stuff. So thank you for that. Um, Wanda said, hello, her friend Emily. Hey. <laughs> Hi, girl. So thank you for spending a little bit with us. We're going to move some cows and shoot a video for you guys. That will be coming out tomorrow because we got to get it shot. And Missy over here has got to get home and edit it. And then um, that'll be up tomorrow, probably mid morning. So I'm just hoping we ain't chasing cows on that. Yeah. If you're if you haven't hit the bell, hit the bell, and then you'll know exactly when tomorrow's video goes up and this video goes up and all that. So. Um, and when she just Maddie. sporadically goes live. So, yeah, and when we just sporadically go live. Yeah. So, we're about to go chase some cows, hopefully in the right direction. And not all over everywhere. <laughs> right. And we'll see you on the YouTube tomorrow. We got to figure out how to hit stop. <laughs> Tell them bye, Em. Bye.